from VOA Learning English. This is the Health Report. A hospital in the United States says a volunteer firefighter has received the most extensive face transplant on record. 41-year-old Patrick Harrelson received a new face in what is being called historic surgery. The surgery took place at New York University's Langone Medical Center. Plastic surgeon Dr. Eduardo Rodriguez led the team of 150 medics that performed the 26-hour transplant surgery. Hardison waited a year for the perfect donor who had a matching blood type, fair skin, and hair. The donor's face is from a 26-year-old New York bicycle mechanic and cyclist. David Rodabau was pronounced brain dead after a biking accident in late July. Doctors pronounced him dead on August 14th. Two hours after the donor's death, a team of doctors operated on Hardison, carefully removing his face. Another team worked on the donor. A nonprofit organization called Live on NY seeks transplant organs and tissue in the New York City area. This organization identified Rodabal as a possible donor. He had signed up to donate his organs. In 2001, Patrick Hardison entered a burning house to save a woman when the roof fell on him. He suffered severe burns on his head, neck, and upper torso. Hardison lost his ears, lips, most of his nose, and nearly all of his eyelids. To protect them, doctors covered his eyes with pieces of skin. This left only a small hole for him to see out of. His surgeon says he now has working eyelids, ears, a full head of hair, as well as eyebrows and facial stubble. For VOA Learning English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.